Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you what I call a preview review, which is what I know based on pop culture, and that's it. We watch it together, edited of course because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I not like it? Did I like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars. It's all based on personal preference because what the hell do I know? For some reason, if you have not read the title or seen the thumbnail, today is the 1978 movie Animal House. Listen, y'all don't know this, but my laptop is sitting on a tub of DVDs from my P.O. box and I probably have about seven... Gross. About seven copies of Animal House. Animal House never fails to come up on Patreon, on YouTube comments, on Instagram. So I am, I am finally here. We are finally doing the damn thing. Today is the day. <laughs> I don't know anything about this movie as <laughs> most movies that I go into, but a lot of the comments on Patreon said that it was like a college movie. I don't know who's in it and I definitely don't know why you wanted me to watch it so bad. So I guess I'm fixing to learn today. I don't want to look up a movie poster because I did that a couple times last week. So I guess we're just going into this completely blind, knowing only the title and knowing that some comments said it was about college. Let's find out what that means, okay? No more diddle dally and let's get right on into today's Millennium Movie Monday, which is the 1978 Animal House. National Lampoon's Animal House. Okay, so is National Lampoon like Monty Python? Because there's like Christmas vacation, vaca like I feel like National Lampoon has, or is that a person? I don't know. So I guess this is my first introduction to National Lampoon's anything. Kevin Bacon's in this? Well that's fun. Knowledge is good. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Look at that pink dress, I love that. Larry Kroger, this <gasps> Oh, poor baby. Thank you. Nice to Why don't we just go inside? And Who's this cutie on the left? Like, he's just a little cutie. Don't be shy about helping yourselves to punch and cookie. That's so mean! Then you'll have lots to talk about, huh? Yeah. Aw, putting him back in the group with all the newbies. The recruits. That's sad. Fred was a Delta. That makes me a legacy. They gotta take me. It's like their law. I've never understood fraternities or sororities. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was too loud! The Delta house? Sure! <gasps> That's so gross! Y'all seem to be a little overdressed to be at the Delta house. You guys playing cards? What you think they're doing? <laughs> I love that. They're well-known homosexuals. Well, good for them! But you're getting warmer. Let me give you another- That's a butt! That's a butt! Gonna hump our brains out, aren't you? Oh my god. Where's Katie? Downstairs, pissed off about something. Oh wait, so the bartender is his girlfriend, so she was making she's just mad at him and made the home the homosexual joke. Okay, got it. That's right. Hey, are you guys coming down? Is that a dildo? Oh. Am I doing it? I'm not doing it. Yeah, she's mad about something. I think I'm in love with a re bigger than me oh my god well that didn't age well at all who dumped a whole truckload of fizzies into the swim meet <laughs> who delivered the medical school cadavers to the alumni dinner no <laughs> then as of this moment they're on double secret probation double secret probation sir that's the worst kind of probation find me a way to revoke delta's charter I love his voice. Ah! Oh, Nobody likes you! Sad! Boom! You had a face like a pepperoni pizza, right? <laughs> Damn. Ah! <laughs> oh, let the hazing begin. Your Delta Tau kind of name is Pinto. Why Pinto? Why not? Valid argument. Your name is Flounder. Hounder. Like the little mermaid. Oh, this is too much. This is intense. This is scary. Y'all gonna mess around and sell your soul to the devil. Thank you, sir. May I have another? 
Is that for real what those paddles are for? That being bad was more fun than being good? Always. Are you and Greg doing the dirty deed or not? Oh? Greg doesn't believe in premarital intercourse. Nerd. Company, halt! Was that Kevin Bacon? What is going on here? Is this like ROTC? Look at those pants. Oh my god. And god damn it, tuck up those pajamas! I thought they were underwear and I was like, cute. <laughs> oh. We are unbothered. 1900 hours. And without that pledge pin! Could you imagine the amount of spit on his face? Oh, the horse is doing a little clap! Mr. Jennings is a wonderful teacher. Mm. Uh. Oh, they finna hook up. You're paying the rent until I finish. Look at the album. cat! Would anybody like to smoke some pot? Yeah. Always. Well, this is one chill ass professor. Little creepy, but okay. I don't like this vibe. I don't like this vibe. I won't go schizo, will I? It's a distinct possibility. <laughs> at least he's honest. Hey, hey, Paula. Nobody else could ever do. I don't like him. I'm getting creepy vibes from the professor right now. The whole solar system could be like one tiny atom in the fingernail of some other giant being. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I know. Isn't it weird? It's weird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that horse is pissed. And a pretty horsey, though. Mm, yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's intimate. Oh my god, what are they gonna do? This reminds me of like, when I'm playing Uncharted or something and the music gets intense, but I don't know where the enemy is yet. Run a little bit. Oh, we're taking the horse inside? To the Dean's office? Just blanks, right? Something tells me it's not gonna be just blanks. Oh, I'm not gonna do well with this. I'm not gonna do well with this. Maybe he had a heart attack. Holy shit! What do we do? If there were blanks, what happened? Oh, man, I don't think it's right that you should extort money from the college. Look. The hooves up! Oh my god, stop it! You're using my police, my sanitation people, my free Oldsmobile. Stop! Don't worry, Carmine. I've got those boys just where I want them. Carmine, like the Godfather? Is that a <laughs> You got your milk, too. Can I just massage your thighs while you eat? Oh my god! Oh, you missed your tray, baby. But you're not gonna get a chocolate chip cookie? That's what I would've went after. I'm impressed. Don't you have any respect for yourself? Does it look like it? That boy is a P.I.G. pig. Good for you for knowing how to spell, baby. I'm a zit. Get it? Oh my god, it's so gross. Were food fights ever a real thing that happened? Because I've never experienced one, and I just refuse to believe that it was a real part of any kind of experience growing up for anyone. Oh, shit, oh, Greg. Making out Look, on the cliff. It's a star. Look. Let's make a wish. <laughs> He's gonna wish for a piece of that ass. Is anything happening yet? My arm's kind of tired. <laughs> Has me a little distracted. God knows how they've molested women. Is that what you're thinking about right now? Darn it, Greg. If you're not even gonna try, I'm just gonna stop. She had on man, yeah. gloves? That's why nothing was happening. Could you imagine how awful that felt? Oh, is this a sorority? Oh my God. So Tennessee, they're not allowed to live in their sororities because there's some kind of bylaw or something written in the states, who's and what's it, about how X amount of women can't live under the same roof or it's a brothel. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Sleep <laughs> on her! Oh God, titties. <laughs> how did they not hear? How did they not hear that? 
I'm so done. She don't see him. Well, very street. What? Very street. Very. What the f that word about? Strategically placed window pane covering up a little bit of nip nap there. God. Uh, titty. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do the thing. Whatever came to be with that creepy ass professor? I clearly don't know how one modern day printers work. Two, how these old ones do. So they're gonna fail their test because they cheated. And they're gonna pass their test because they cheated, but replaced the other one. We gotta do something. Absolutely. You know what we gotta do? Toga, toga party. Toga, toga, toga. I got news for you, pal. They're gonna nail us no matter what we do. So might as well go out with a bang. Toga, toga, toga. So wait a second, toga. is this movie where the whole toga, toga came from? And I just never knew it? It's not gonna be an orgy. It's a <laughs> toga party. An orgy might happen. How can I miss it? I'll write you a note. I'll say you're too well to attend. Is she a girl that was in Indiana Jones? I'm gonna have to look that up. I think she is. I am appointing you pledge representative to the social committee. What the hell does that even mean? It means you have to drive us to the food king. Oh, no, 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 no. oh. <laughs> Otter, please. I do not have the reflexes for that. But you're doing great. Vegetables can be really sensuous, don't you think? No. <laughs> oh, we have a, a Dean Wormer at Faber. I have a husband named Dean Wormer at Faber. Oh. Still want to show me your cucumber? No, thanks. Well, we're having a little party at the Delta Tau Kai house. Why would you tell the Dean's wife? He's so cute. What kind of braid is that? Oh, y'all are very overdressed for this occasion. Hey, oh my god. But her dress is very cute. I get... Wow, he just tried to get him some punani shit. Leave him alone. Oh, her dress is cute too! You know you make me wanna Take my heels up and Shut Softer now, a little bit softer now, a little bit softer now, a little bit softer now. You got it! Go all the way down! How low can you go? I tell you what, this has just put me in a good mood. Hey, hey, hey. Hey! Did the Dean's wife show up? Oh my god, no way. She's blitzed. Get your kicks, girl. Y'all about what y'all whispered about. Ooh. Mrs. Wormer, I'm so glad you could come. I'm the crap. Is he gonna have sex with the Dean's wife? He's gonna have sex with the Dean's wife. Oh my god, he's gonna do it. No. <gasps> Scandalous! You're doing great. Uh -huh. You're doing great. They're hard to maneuver. It's okay. Take your time. Oh, honey. Oh, girl. Oh, my God. All right. Shit. You're doing good. You're doing great. It's okay. Up and over. Up and over. Oh, no. Oh, she. <gasps> so one stuffed her bra, two passed out titties. You homo. Okay, whew, I thought we were about to have a really bad time. Her dad is the mayor. Her dad is the mayor. Her dad is the mayor and you're taking her home in a grocery cart. Oh my god. One of those goddamn fraternities, I guess. The same fraternity that got your wife. That's who. Be surprised at some of the girls he's had. Very surprised. Lord, girl, tell all your business. Can tonight. Busy. Yeah, just like you were the other night. How's it feel? It don't feel good. Do it. Does it. <laughs> How do people whistle like... By serving alcohol to freshmen during pledge week. 
and after established drinking hour. Is that the account? Is that the charge? And disgusting that decorum prohibits. He kind of looks like Mark Zuckerberg a little bit. <laughs> Douglas C. Niedermeyer, Sergeant at Arms. Ass kisser. Point of parliamentary procedure. Don't screw around. There's that jacket is so loud. Take it easy. I'm in pre-law, man. I thought you're pre-med. What's the difference? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, isn't this an indictment of our entire American society? We're reaching, but I respect it. Oh, not mermaid fish titties. Ah, impressive. What's it back? Where'd you go? He wants it back by Don't forget Sunday. the bear on the top. Don't forget the bear on the top. Just mention modern art, civil rights, or folk music, and you're in like Flynn. <laughs> I hope I score. Oh boy. Oh boy. You have a girlfriend. Would you excuse me a minute? What happened to Fawn? We're engaged to be engaged. What's the matter with everyone around here? Oh no. Frank, just like you've been messing around, so has Fawn. Fawn's dead. Whoa! Sophomore dies in kiln explosion? If there's anything I can do. Your pot could have been the one that exploded in the kiln. Kiln, kiln, kiln? I don't know what, what the word is. Hey! I don't think this is your kind of club, buddy. He about to get over fine real quick. I wonder where Otter is. Maybe I should go outside and look for it. Nah, Otter's busy. Oh my god, she got naked quick! Oh wow, we just- Oh wow, we just gonna move the whole damn table. I love that. Otter was trying to get some! What shitty friends. Well, I don't know. I think Frank was kind of cute. Ew! Well, I really I felt sorry. Frank is cute. What did you say? She wasn't home. Where could she be at six in the morning? Where would she be at six in the morning? She's asleep at somebody else's house, my guy. I'm saying that Mandy and Eric Stratton are having an affair. Oh, wow. How could you tell him this right before a homecoming? I want you to do something for me. I couldn't... Oh my god. That's a fun party trick. You fucked up! He trusted us! Him! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, a butt! Her butt. Hi, Katie. Oh, she has somebody over. Must be in the kitchen. <gasps> oh my god! I knew something was off with that man and her. Oh, look at his little sweater. Oh, look at his butt! <laughs> good, good, good. Mm. Oh, well, that's not proper workplace interaction. <gasps> look at those cars. I love these cars. They're so pretty. Two C's, two D's, and an F. That's a 1.2 grade average. Damn! <laughs> Congratulations, Kroger. You're at the top of the class. <laughs> Out with it! Gross. Is what's his face finally gonna get a little little hand job? A little glug glug grand thousand? Yeah. I don't think the Deltas will be giving us any more trouble. She's got her shoulder into it and everything. Good for her. Is it supposed to be this soft? Seven years of college down the drain. Seven years? It was Greggy and Dougie and some of the other Hitler youth. Why? What'd you do? <laughs> we might get in trouble. Well, just kiss my ass from now on! And what's it matter? You've already been kicked out of school. What else is going to happen to you? Let's do it. I love D-Day's mustache. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this girl. You're going to break that window, boy called it. Why even raise the window at that point? I lied to you. I've never done this before. You've never made out with a girl before? No. <laughs> I think 
think we're gonna do in a minute. I sort of did once, but I was it's drunk. It's okay, Larry. I sort of did once, but I was drunk. Whoever, where's Boone? <laughs> Katie, I don't think you should stay around here. What are y'all gonna do? Blow up the place? May I have 10,000 marbles, please? <laughs> Simple request. Oh, honey, your watch is way not correct. So they made a float, and it's a cake, so I feel like something's gonna come out of it. Oh, no. And the marching band is just gonna blindly follow him? I know he's the lead marshal, but that's not how that works. The Playboy Thank Magazine. you, God! <laughs> Fine! What an adventure he's on right now. I just now realized they have the statue's head as their front mount on the card. That's hilarious. <laughs> this shot is so funny. You can take your thumb out of my ass anytime now, Carmine. Unless you like it. The boy who molested me last month. Great. Look at my thumb. Ah, the old bait and switch. Oh, I could do that. I may not be able to. Oh, a Nixon White House aide in prison. Oh my god. By his own troops. Oh my god. Oh, they got married and divorced. Senator, good for you. I want to see if Katie is the girl from Indiana Jones. Okay, let's talk about it. You coming back in, Beans? Come on. You have been in and out of here like four times during this movie. Can you get comfortable? First and foremost, let me look up Karen Allen. Because I think she was in one of the Indiana Jones. But I feel like I say that about every leading lady. Nope, she was in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. I don't know how to address this, I guess. Keeping in mind when this came out in, what, 78? Very funny. I can see how some of these jokes were very funny back then. Did it age well? No. It's very hard. This is very hard to say because I can sit here and I can watch something for almost two hours and laugh at the jokes keeping in mind when it was made. Could this movie be remade today with these same jokes? No. Like using the R word to describe somebody, the jokes about molesting and rape, not cool. It just didn't age well. It just gave me icky vibes in some parts. But keeping in mind when this was made, I can understand how it was funny. I did think that dude hooking up with the Dean's wife was hilarious. It's a very bro film. What's funny? It's another one of those that like, I could see having this on in the background of like having friends over. This isn't something that I would tell someone that they have to see. It's a devil's lettuce kind of night. You, some bros hanging out, smoking some of the left-handed cigarettes. That's the perfect time for this movie. Definitely not one that I would re-watch. We do love some tomfoolery and classic pranks like marbles and you know, chains ripping apart floor and things like that. Very funny. Not my cup of tea joking about molesting anybody, but especially 13 year olds, not really my cup of tea. But keeping in mind when this was made, I can see how that humor was okay then. So let the comments begin about how I'm a fucking snowflake. I just don't think you should take advantage of people ever. What a concept. <laughs> Anyways, watched it. Funny in some parts, definitely couldn't be remade today. Glad I finally got to it. Glad I recognized Marion, which I got told that she died earlier this year, which is crazy. Glad it's another one that I can mark off of my list, mark off of a poster or two. I don't really see how it was so requested though. Like, was it really that great of a movie back in the day that it's a must watch now? And again, some of the jokes about some of the topics are not really my jam. I don't know, I watched it, Glad I watched it. Mark it off my list. If you keep in mind when it was made, I laughed a lot. So I'm gonna give it four out of five stars because it was entertaining. I did have fun watching it. And it had a really good soundtrack too, so, so that's a bonus. But other than that, it doesn't really stick out to me. Probably wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But hey, 
that's just me. All right, so thank you so much for liking. Be sure to subscribe, stick around for a while. This Friday, a Millennial Movie member has me started in a series, but it's the most recent movie in the series. So I can't wait to hear your opinions on why they chose it for me and whether or not you agree with their decision. But I'll see you right back here on Friday for another Millennial Movie member request and links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you right back here on Friday.